Okay, so today I'm going to be talking, uh, showing you how to build a gender report in Google Data Studio using your Google, pulling from your Google Analytics. Um, so let's get started. Just type in Google D Data Studio into Google. Pull it up. Then you can select from a template, but we're going to start with a, a blank report. And title it gender report now we need to add a data source you can select from ones that you already have connected or you'll need to connect a new one we'll go in there connect to Google Analytics select the account the property the view connect all right we want to add that to report you'll click on that but I'm just going to select one I've already already have. There we go. We'll add it to the report. All right. So we're going to start off uh, with a date range. <clears throat> You're going to want to know uh, what be able to select what date you want to pull the data from. We're going to go ahead and. Uh, Select the date range to be automatically set to 30 days. You can change this on the front side to whatever date you want, but for now we're just going to set to 30 days. Now we're going to build out the label. Make it a little bigger. I'm going to make it white because I want it on a blue background. I'll type in men. Make the background blue. Now we're going to insert a scorecard. This will pull, it's automatically set to sessions. We want the sessions in there for sure. Now we're going to uh, Compare it to the previous period. So this would be the previous 30 days. Gonna make a little blue box around it. Alright, so I got my sessions in there. I want to add a filter so it only shows from the the men. I'll select Include gender is equal to male. Save. Now I have my filter. Now I'll go ahead and copy that. Paste. Move it over. Now I want to select a different metric for my metric picker I want to select completions goal completions you can select any any goal completion you want but I'm gonna go with all of them for right now this is a total overview <coughs> copy that paste select the new metric I want to know the conversion rate. There it is. Make sure we all have our filters on them. Okay. There's our main category that sessions goal completions goal conversion rate now I'm going to select them all and copy paste I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the men to women on the new one now I want to 
make it a specific color so I can tell the difference. You can make them any color you want. There we go. And I'm going to make a table. So I can view the different uh, data sources, the different source and mediums that um, the different genders come from. So it automatically has in sessions from the different sources. <coughs> But I want to see the source and medium, so I'm going to go in here, type in source, select source medium. I want to know which gender it's from, so I add another dimension, gender. Select the metric. Add goal completions. Select the new metric, conversion rate, all right, and you can adjust them to be the right size, however you want to do it. Now I'm going to make a little heat map. It'll show the uh, the highest numbers at the top. It'll basically show you, you know, what's performing best for that metric. What's getting the highest uh, numerical value. You can adjust the colors to be whatever you want. There we go. And I'm going to add a new pie chart so we can see basically the percentage of uh, who's getting the most, the men or the women. I want to know which ones uh, completed the goals. It's pretty cool when when you're working with these uh, pile these pie charts. You can uh, you can select how many different pie slices you want. This one you only have. Two different um, options because of you know gender. Men, men and women is the only options you have. So you can change the color. You can change the color of this, the pie slice, and you can move them around. It's pretty fun to work with. All right. So now I'm going to make the uh, time series. So we'll know which days we had which action from uh, which gender. I want to know goal completions.
And I have the secondary dimension to be genders because you have the first one is your time. And there it is. You can um, also change how many will show on the first uh, page or on the first uh, part of the widget. 20, 10, you know, just select these different ones. This only has 10 right now, so it will only show 10, but you can uh, mess around with that. You go to the view mode, that's how it'll look out of edit. Go back to edit. You can look how you want. A pretty cool uh, builder, but um, let's not forget we need to go back. And we need to change the filter for the women. We need a new filter. This should be the women filter. Include gender. Equal to female. So you have your filter, you apply it to all of the uh, appropriate fields, which the appropriate widgets. Now, now we have uh, the men and the women, but there's a there's an unknown uh, there's an unknown amount, so we're gonna have the total and if you add together the men and the women you'll have the ones that you know and then you take that and subtract it from the total you'll have the unknown gender the ones that Google doesn't know or they don't provide Just make this one gray. There we go. Let's get rid of the filter. There we have it. That's your gender report. You go and view it. You can um, change the date ranges, get all the data that you need. You can also say we can duplicate this page. Like, let's say we want to make one that's, that only shows. AdWords, what's coming through from your AdWords. <coughs> we'll do the, the uh, exact same. We'll rename this page AdWords. Let's rename the first page to Total. All right, we'll go to the AdWords. We don't need the, the source because this is all coming from one source. We'll add the filter. We'll create the filter. This is, I already created it, but I'm going to show you how I created it. Go into there. 
the source medium equals Google cost per click CPC. Include source medium equals to Google CPC. Save. Now you'll go through and just apply these to all of the uh, metric fields, all the widgets. You can do this for any, any source. You can make your own filters. Feel free to play around with it to get the, the data that you want. Arrange it to where, to where it looks the best for you. There it is. I hope you guys learned a lot and uh, are able to build your own gender conversion reports to get the right data. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.